So uh, this is page 151 of the notes, and this is the COVID example. And why were uh, Americans, American citizens traveling from foreign countries tested for COVID before they re-entered the United States in the spring of 2020? Well, the obvious answer is we didn't want um, them spreading COVID around um, the United States if they had it. So we're testing to sit there and go, gosh, we need to quarantine you or hospitalize you uh, because you have the coronavirus. So the null hypothesis, hypothesis, remember the null hypothesis is always based on innocence. So innocence in this case would be that you did not have um, COVID. So the person traveling from a foreign country does not have COVID. The alternative is the person traveling from a foreign country has COVID. So this is the reality. The reality is that person has COVID and the one that the instance when they don't. So the CDC runs a test and the person has COVID and we say they have COVID, bing, 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 great, we made a correct decision. Person has COVID, has COVID and we, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the actual situations, they don't have COVID, but we say that they do, we committed a type one error because we rejected the null in favor of uh, the alternative. And we did so by mistake because they do not have COVID-19. Over here, the person has COVID-19 and we say that we don't. The person has COVID-19 and we say that they don't, we made an error, all right? Well, because in that error, we failed to reject this. And so the only type of error we can make is type two. Over here, the person does not have COVID-19. We say they don't, we did the right thing, correct decision, okay? So what is a type one error in this context? A type one error, first off, I always recommend you defining what it is because that shows me you know what you know you know what you're talking about. A type one error is rejecting the null when in fact it's true. Type one error is rejecting the null when in fact it's true. Probably don't need to say by mistake, but it is a mistake. Type one error is the error of rejecting the null when in fact it's true. In this case, we would be labeling a traveler as having COVID when in fact they do not have the virus, all right? So a type one error in this case would be saying they don't have, when they don't have the virus, but we say that they do. So we rejected the null of, have, of not having a virus. As a consequence, uh, we would be labeling the travelers having COVID. Um, as a consequence, a healthy person without COVID-19 would not be allowed to re-enter the US. They would be kept away from their families and their homes. Um, until uh, later notice. Because at that time we didn't know what to do. When a type two error in the situation, and what are the consequences? Well, type two is failing to reject. So in this case, a type two error is failing to reject the null by mistake when in fact it's false. That's the definition that we always just kind of give them so that we know, so they know that we know what it is, and then we're going to put it in context. In this case, we would believe that the traveler is healthy and does not have COVID-19 when in fact they are sick with the virus or when in fact they have the virus. As a consequence, the virus infected traveler will be allowed to enter the US where they can infect more Americans. So the obvious question, well, what's worse, a type one or type two error? And it kind of depends. For society as a whole, type two error. For the individual, a type one error, all right? Um, because this one is, is taking away their freedoms incorrectly, saying they're sick when they are not. This one is endangering the population uh, when, by saying they are healthy when in fact they are not. So that's kind of the balance of type one and type two errors. And this is the COVID example. We will work with uh, more type one and type two error, error, errors on the next videos.